All right, we're here to complete the very last step that our installation of our Python development environment locally on our Ubuntu machine. And what we are trying to do here is we're trying to actually downgrade our Python version. We looked at this Python hyphen V and we see that we're now dealing with Python version 3.8.3. In the DSI, we're going to use Python 3.7. And that's because that's what all of our materials are updated to. Um, typically, this is actually something fairly common that you're going to run into in the field. Not every organization is always going to be using the very newest version of whatever language or uh, software that is available. In fact, very rarely will you find an organization always using the very newest version because they have to change their entire organization and code base over to make sure everything works with that new version. That's usually quite a process. Also, whenever a new version of Python comes out, everything around Python, all the other packages, also have to make sure that they are compatible with that new version. So typically, there is a very common module or library called TensorFlow. It's Google's neural network framework. It's the, the primary neural network framework that's taught in the DSI here at Galvanize. And typically, they move about one version of Python behind. They've actually just recently come out with support in TensorFlow 2 for Python 3.8, but all of our materials at Galvanize have not yet been updated to that. So we want to make sure that we're using Python 3.7. And to actually make that switch, we're going to use the Conda package manager for the first time. And we're going to do that by using this command called Conda install Python and we're actually, typically, if you're installing a module or a package, you could just say uh, conda install whatever the package is. In this case, I'm going to say NumPy. I know NumPy is already installed. It's going to uh, try and start the installation process for NumPy, and uh, it's not going to get very far. Before it goes too long, it's going to say, hey, just for the record, you've already got NumPy installed. There's really no reason to do this. So we'll give this a minute and it'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you how we're actually going to specify an exact version of installing a, a package or uh, a module. And we're going to do that with Python. Uh, it looks like there's actually, before we can install this NumPy, it looks like there's actually an update for Conda. Asks if we want to do that. We'll go ahead and hit yes. Um, that's gone ahead and been updated. And it looks like we have updated the specs for NumPy. So now I can NumPy hyphen V for version. Uh, it looks like it's still not found. So let's Conda install NumPy. Give this a try again. Oh, and it says that oh, all requested packages are already installed. And the reason that when I say NumPy hyphen V uh, and it says NumPy come in not found, that's because NumPy is a module for Python. So there's actually a Python command that I could run to uh, check the version of NumPy. And um, we are not going to get into that right now, right? But I could see that when I tried to do this conda install NumPy that it is already installed. Now let's use that conda install command. But this time we're going to do Python and we are going to specify a very... Actually, before we do this, let's look at all of the options that we have. Let's search through all of the available things to install in conda that contain the word Python with this command, conda search Python. It's going to take a moment, make that search complete. Give us everything that contains the word Python. We could see that we have a pretty large selection of different Python versions here. And we're going to want to downgrade to 3.7, but we are going to want to get one of the most recent versions of 3.7. That's going to 3.77. So I can pick that out. And now I can go ahead and let's clear this up. And conda install Python equals 3. 
go ahead and enter. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the mic. This installation is going to take a little while. The video should speed right through it. Um, you'll see a lot of flashing going on in the actual terminal, but this after you have agreed to any terms, you might be hit with a prompt or two. I'll slow down for those, and I will see you on the other end of this automated installation in the terminal. I will take a moment just to say here, uh, there is some chance that you're going to run into some errors throughout this installation. We can see that we have one right here. It says uh, it was trying to solve this environment and we got this failed with initial frozen solve and now it's trying with a, a flexible solve and we can see that it's actually working on that and it has been for a little while. That's relatively common to run into issues with that. In general, these installers are pretty robust and they're able to take care of these things on their own. Um, this sort of downgrade to Python 3.7 from 3.8, there's a lot of potential conflicts to work through, which is what it's talking about when it's solving that environment. So in general, very rarely will you actually have to intervene uh, typically, the installer will take care of these things for you, and I think that's going to be the case here. But I did see that error come up. I just wanted to make sure that you know that that will happen sometimes, and it's not the end of the world. Typically, it'll take care of itself. But we'll go ahead and turn the mic back down, let this continue on, and I will see you at the other end of this installation uh, to, to wrap things up. So we can see that it actually has been able to work through those issues that it was having. And it comes to a place that says, hey, here's a list of all the things that I'm going to install. Do you want me to do that? I'm going to say yes. Let's go ahead and proceed with those. And it will go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn the mic off again. Let this complete the installation. And then we will see you to wrap up afterwards. All right, and we can see here that the installation has been completed. All of our packages have been installed, and we can see that we prepared, verified, and executed the transaction. And I don't know if we need to restart the terminal here. It looks like we actually didn't. Now, if I check up on my Python version, it's 3.7.7, and we have the correct version that we need for the DSi. So that is actually it for all of the installation on the Linux side. The next lesson that or the next unit you're going to want to go to is going to show how to use some of these tools that have been installed. And once we have done that, you should be well on your way into the next unit, which is an introduction to GitHub. But um, for the time being, we'll see you in the next series of the